Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike. I'm Tanya. With Fowler Family Farm. That was Aria. That was the mama. As you see, uh, we are having puppies this year. We just had them about nine days ago. So we didn't do a, we did actually, Braxton did shoot some video of the babies being born. And we will throw some of that video into this video. But we just have not had time to video from day one to day nine like we did last, actually the last couple of years. Um, so we're gonna start today. Day nine will be the first Lots video. Lots of puppy videos coming. Yeah. Day nine will be the first one y'all get to see this time around. You know, like I said, the last two years, it's you saw them on day one, day four, day eight, you know, just periodically you saw them. Aria's over here curious what we're doing. Boston Terriers are so funny. I mean, they, they have such a good personality. That's why we love raising them. Looks she's, like she needs to go feed her babies. She's very curious uh, on what's going on. We'll show you guys Aria as well. Uh, a couple of things I want to talk about before we get started is um, these puppies will be for sale. Uh, there's eight of them. And we last year we sold every one of them through the internet. We'd like uh, for them YouTube. to be local. Yeah, we would love for them to be local, but that's not always the case. Uh, last year we went to Chicago. Uh, we went to Florida. We went to Tennessee. Not, it um, wasn't out of the way for us. We were already going in those places. Yeah, we are, so we we're wouldn't actually have done it. Going. Yes, that is true. <laughs> there is kind of a list started. Um, a couple of you that, that wanted dog, that had a dog last year that wanted a dog this year. I don't have your numbers anymore because uh, all my email, I lost all my uh, text messages. I lost all my contacts, so I don't have that anymore. So if, if you're one of the ones that wants another one that was on my list originally, uh, let me know, send me an email, send me a, uh, some of you probably already have my phone number as well, so uh, shoot me a text as well. Uh, Aria is the mother, uh, just like the previous three years. This is her fourth litter. Uh, she's done very well. The very first year we did two litters in one year, which was a mistake. We didn't intend on doing that. We just got caught off guard with her second heat cycle. And so she did have two, two rounds of puppies that first year. Um, the, second go, the second year she only had one round, and then this year she's only going to have one we round. Only gave her, we gave her one whole year off. Yeah. And then... Another whole year off. And we were actually debating on not having puppies this year. Um, but obviously, you can see that uh, since this video is out, we decided to do it. <laughs> but this is it for us, for, for these two puppies, or these two dogs. Um, Bodie has been fixed. Uh, and that's mainly because Braxton's ready to have just his dog. Um, Bodie is, uh, it's not that he's a horrible dog, you know, with not being fixed or anything. He's just always intense, always aggressive. Um, He's an intact male. Yeah, and now he's not. So now he's, not. Now now he's he'll be, the He's over there sitting with Braxton right now. Yeah, he would never uh, do that. So, which he did. Yeah. Another thing I want you to know about our, our Boston Terriers are they aren't the small side of Bostons. They're not. They're not the 12 to 15 pound Bostons that some people look for. I I personally like the 16 to 25 ish pound Bostons, uh, and that's really because I like. I like for them to, to be able to breathe a little better than the, we, the we get a mouse. small ones. Okay, we got it. Thank you. So living out here in the country, you have mice, and we have a couple of mice traps here, and one of them's got yeah. one. Okay, so let's get back to where we were before the mouse caught us off guard. Bodie, hush. Um, like I was saying earlier, we do prefer the a little bit bigger Boston than the smaller Bostons. That's just our style, just simply because we, we want them to breathe a little better than the smaller they get, the harder it is for them to breathe, and the harder it is for them to, to, to be out in the elements for an extended period. Um, when that nose gets shorter and shorter and shorter, and it just becomes harder for them to breathe, um, and so the extreme heat or the extreme colds more difficult for them to to take in. Regulate the body temperature. Right, so we prefer a little bit bigger Boston, and if that's not your style, don't don't worry about it. We understand, you don't have to look at our Bostons. It's, you know, our Bostons, um, the females will probably be about 18 to 24-ish pounds at the most, I would think. Uh, Aria is typically about 18 pounds. When she's pregnant, she gets up to about 26, 
probably. She's pretty she's pretty big. She's that big. I think she is. And then Bodie's typically around 20 pounds. Sometimes he eats too much and he gets up to that 22, 23 pound range. Um, right now he's in that 23 pound range, mainly because he just got fixed. Yeah. He actually, he probably will stay 23 pounds now because he won't be as he active. He looks better, I think. Yeah, he won't be as a active um, and he'll eat the same, if not more. <laughs> so, but we love the markings that both of these dogs produce on the puppies. So they, they turn out really well. Let's get the puppies. Let's get to the puppies. Okay, okay, okay. All right, puppy one, I'll let you go get. It's a uh, puppy one is a boy. This is the first one born. And oh, by the way, all these dogs were born 427 of 22. Um, puppy one's a boy. He's uh, the red, white color. He's got a haggerty spot. Uh, and then uh, it says covered one eye. And at birth, he weighed 6.4 ounces. He was our biggest boy. He was our biggest dog born this year. Last couple of years, we actually had some seven pounders and eight pounders. Born. He's a chunk now. He probably is a chunk. So we're gonna weigh him. Good. And get a nine day weight. Looks like their eyes are just about to start opening. May have to hit that screen. Yeah, their so eyes still are. This little boy open. has one eye covered. His little tips of his ears are white. They're adorable. He is red, and he keeps turning around. It's camera shy. Isn't he adorable? But he does have a haggerty spot. He does. He's showing it off right now. Which the haggerty spot is the little diamond-shaped or circle-shaped object, or he's is right on top of the head. He's looking for mama. All right, let's see how much he weighs. He's a little chunky monkey. 15.2. 15 point, yep, 15.2 ounces. He's moving. Quit, you little worm. Thank you. Over here. I'm looking for his mommy. Oh, he's peeing. That's why we got this, though. Okay. So that is puppy one. Uh, he does have one, one eye completely covered. This eye over here has still got the white showing. A lot of people like that look. He does have the haggerty spot. And he's a little chunk monk. And that is a boy. He's the first one born. Okay, so dog two is our only girl that is black and white. Or she could be brindle and white. It's hard to tell this young. Yeah. Um, no girl. She does not have a Haggerty. This is the only one without no Haggerty. Um, she was 5.2 ounces at birth. And she was born roughly 21 minutes later after the first one. She was born at 2.49. 12.9. Looks like she's 12.9 ounces now, and she was 5.2 at birth. So nine days later, that's pretty good. So yeah, she's got her. some. She's got some good coloring, good markings. She doesn't have a haggerty, and of course, she's curious if this is her mother yes. and she wants to eat. She does. <laughs> she's like, gimme, gimme, gimme. She's adorable though. She is cute. She's got a great looking tail. Um, she's a little curly tail. Her her front two feet are both white. Her back feet, right at the toes, are white, but the actual feet and legs are black. She's pretty cute. She does have a complete ring, white ring around the neck. Both ears are solid black. She's like a little skunk. <laughs> and both both eyes are covered, right, Tanya? Uh, yes. Yeah, she looks good. Looks really really good. So that's cute. that's girl two. All right, so three is a boy red, Haggerty, eyes, both eyes covered. He weighed 6.4 ounces. So he's kind of a big fat one. All right, so this here. He has both eyes covered. Yeah, is the only boy that's red with both eyes covered. And I think both ears are, yeah, both ears are solid color. He's cute. Yeah, he is a cutie. One, the right leg is pretty much covered with his red with the tips of his toes white. He's got white up halfway up his left leg. Oh, big yum, buddy. And he looks chocolate. He honestly. does. Honestly. That's so funny. He like he doesn't look like really red. Like he looks yet. more brownish chocolate. Yeah, he looks yeah. brown. But he'll 
He'll, it'll probably yeah, change. Yeah, it probably will. He's cute. So at birth, he was 6.4 also, like Tanya was saying. He's a little chunky monkey. He's not as big as that last one that we... 13.9. Yeah. So he's doing okay. That's not bad. Yeah, he's doing pretty good. So he's 13.9. He's a good looking dog. Yeah, he's adorable. He's healthy. I love the solid color down the face. Mm -hmm. I do like that on this left side. And he has bodies with the Haggerty. It's kind of attached. It's kind of connected. Yeah. yeah, the Haggerty's kind of connected. It's still there, but it is connected. <laughs> they crawl Where like you little, going, buddy? Like little worm. He's mostly solid. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of white on him. He's got little white feet on one side, little white foot on his left side. Good looking dog. So he could be left sock. <laughs> left sock. Left sock. Okay, I'm gonna let you go get this one. Ah, oh, he was born at 3.20 in the afternoon. So, what is that? 20, 31 minutes after the second one. And yes, he's a little boy. Oh, he doesn't like his bag. He's like hungry. Right. Okay, so girl four is a, or the fourth dog is a girl. By the way, we do have four boys and four girls. The fourth baby is a girl. She's red and white, Tanya. It's the one you called Curly Tail. Her weight was 5.6 ounces and she was born at four. So 40 minutes after dog three. Let's go ahead and weigh her real quick. Okay, so girl, curly Q tail. Her tail is long, but it's like curled around like a little pig. She's got a lot of white on her face. Susie Q. But... Um, 14.9. Wow, she's doing pretty good. Oh, chunky monk. So she's uh, she's got a lot of white on her face, but still, both eyes are brown. She does have a haggerty spot. Both ears are brown. Uh, the front two feet, Tanya. Yeah, they're both white. Both white. Halfway up, that's good. The back feet, the toe area is white. She's and her tail does kind of curl a little more than all the other dogs. That's why Tanya kind of called her Susie Q, Curly Q. She has a little Curly Q tail. She's cute. She's a little cutie though. Oh, she's lovely. Oh, there we go. She's a little cutie, isn't she? Do y'all hear them all over there? We're disturbing them, so we're waking them up. The next two, five and six, go ahead and grab five and six together, Tanya. Five and six are twins. They were born at the same time in the same sack. And you'll notice that they are much smaller than the others. They're, they're definitely smaller than the other dogs. And I say they're twins, but they're two different colors. I call them twins because they were boys. born. Yeah, they're both boys. So the little red one. He was, yep. Is that what we're doing first? Yeah, that's fine. So he is ten point. He's ten point eight. Oh. Oh. Did I read it wrong? Yeah, yeah ten, ten point three. three. And this one's probably a little smaller. She's peeing on me. So ten point three for the little brown one, and at birth, he was four point four. So he was. Pretty small. He's double. He's doing. He was actually the smallest dog we've had uh, we this go around. But he gets around. Look at him. He's, he ain't scared. He's crawling right up me. All right, nine point eight. So the black one's growing, just not as quick as the brown one. And he was he was He's four so point right. he was four point nine at birth. He was actually bigger than the brown one, but the brown one's doing slightly a little bit better. But they're both doing good. They're both getting around pretty good. I'm surprised they're as active as they are because Arya just got through feeding them. But we do call them twins because they were born from the same sack at the same time. So if that was going to be one puppy, that would have been one big puppy <laughs> with that weight combined. And we've never had that where no, one, one sack had, had two puppies in it. That was the first time for us. They're eating on each other. He's like, hey, are you mama? No, you're brother. 
But they both have really great markings. Oh yeah, he's adorable. Yeah, this black one has covered eyes, a haggerty spot. The brown one has covered eyes and a haggerty spot. They're twins almost, yeah. it looks like. They both have a, a complete ring around their neck. The feet are white. Both, Front feet are white. Both feet are white, yeah. And the back feet are, are dark with just the toes <laughs> white. Looks like they're wrestling. I know. It's so cute. It's kind of cute, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So one thing that's really great about Aria is there is absolutely no mess in her brooder box. And I'll show you that brooder box here at the end of the video. She does a great job of cleaning up after her babies and after herself. Um, oh, we could sell these as twins, Johnny and June. Yeah. But June's a girl name. Oh, it like is. Never mind. <laughs> Okay, honey, they're cute, but we gotta go put them back. They're so cute. We gotta move on to dog seven. Okay. Or this is gonna be an hour long video. All right. Okay, dog seven is a girl that's red and white uh, with a haggerty. Eyes are covered. White tip on left ear, honey. So earlier I said dog one was our biggest dog. I was wrong. Dog seven was born biggest. Dog seven was 6.7 oh, ounces. She's got a girl with a cute tail, too. Oh, yeah. So she weighs 15.3. Yeah. 15.3. So she has a little white thing on her ear. She has a haggerty. It's two white feet. Little girl. She has a long curly Q tail. All right. So there's her little white. So what's funny is we truly thought we were done with puppies at, after this one was born because Aria got up and walked around for a second started licking on all the dogs and kind of looked like she was done and then a few well let's see here 48 minutes later she has another I'm sorry no eight uh, 38 minutes later she has another dog so we were shocked with dog eight <laughs> She's got good coloring too, though. She has a ring around the, her whole neck. You can pick up the phone and move it around. There's her little tipped ear. Reminds me of Tippy. Yeah. I wonder how she's doing. Her mama has got to have baby. <laughs> Like turning in circles. Seriously, you're gonna make me. She's looking for her buddies. She sure is. Or her mama. She's cute. Little chunky monkey. Okay, so the dog we showed you earlier that we said was dog seven is actually dog eight. We got the two mixed up because they're very similar. They they both we try to put markings in our notes, um, and they both have left tipped ears, but so we just picked up the wrong one. When they're this little, they don't have personalities yet. When yeah. they get a little older, they'll kind of come into their own and we kind of can tell them apart a little better. So. Exactly. So dog seven was actually dog eight. Um, she was born at 6 p.m. Her original weight was 6.3 ounces and now she's 15.3 ounces. And she has the white tipped ear? Yes. Yeah, she has the white tipped ear, but it's on the front and the back. And the back. Okay, so that is dog eight right there. Which we just showed Brad, that. Low battery on your phone. That was dog seven originally, but now it's dog eight. Okay. So we've dog got video eight, of that. Right there, white tipped ear. Dog eight. Dog seven. And dog four. Okay, so now we're going to get back to the what dog should have been seven, and that's this one here in the middle. So. So eight's taken away. We weigh her. She's gonna be big. She's gonna be our biggest dog. 1.05 ounces, so right over a pound. And like I was saying earlier in the video, she was a, our largest baby. She was 6.7. She was actually dog seven, this one here, not the other one I showed. She's pretty though. So that's number seven. She's getting a lot of, a lot of milk. 
So this is the four girls. We have one black one or brindle. It's probably gonna be, I don't know, it looks black right now. It could stay black. And then of course we have the three red ones. <laughs> they're all gonna and They're all adorable. Cattle. Ah, it's my favorite part of puppies. Yeah, they just sit there and just... wrestle on top of each other. When they get to be about eight weeks, they start stinking they time to go home, but. Time to find a new home. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh, they're so cute. Come over here and look. <laughs> they're think? cute. They are. Yeah, they're very cute. What do you think, Brax? These are all the girls. They're ugly. They're ugly. So, by the way, Braxton did most of the delivery assistance. He did do good. Me and Tanya were both at work, and we weren't expecting her to have the babies that day. We were actually expecting them two days later. But he did good. Braxton did a really okay, good Okay, so I just checked, and number two is a girl. Right there, see? <laughs> so Braxton, thank you for being here and doing that and being playing vet tech for the day. Mm -hmm. Might be a shirt. But you can't Just another one of those homeschool moments. <laughs> yeah, this is a good homeschooling teaching day for him. But just as his fourth set of puppies to help he with, could so. probably get two dogs and make make a living out of puppies if he really wanted he'd know what to do yeah so we do try to uh probably about right now and and for the rest of the time that we have them we will try to put the dogs on their back a little bit in our hand to to get them to submit to to us um it's just one they of don't the ways really that, like it without their eyes open yeah it's just one of the ways that we we try to help let them know that that people uh, is who they need to, to look at to care for them. Yeah. All right, let's put the girls right. up and get the boys. All right, there's the two twin boys there. Yep, five and six, the twins. And then this little boy here is boy three. And then this boy over here was boy one, the very first dog. Very first puppy. All right, so lay them out in a line right here so we can see them. Sorry. <laughs> so as you can tell, boys are like herding cats. They're very much more active than the girls. Usually. And it could be that they're they're hungry. It's time for them to eat. Yeah, they're probably hungry. I know the twins. That's probably time for them to eat. I don't know if they're in the same. I don't know if she split them up between boys and girls, no, or between I, first set of of born and second I don't know set how of she born. Does it, but she knows how to do it. Yeah. So Aria does. Your hand, Brax. Just a second. Aria does like to feed four at a time, and she does it almost every single time you see her feed. She'll be feeding four of them, mm -hmm. and then later on you'll notice that it's four different ones. So she knows what she's doing. She may not be perfect every time, but she knows not to feed eight at once. Yeah. She'll feed half of them and then feed half of the other half later. And I'm sure some of them aren't getting fed regularly. Some of them are getting overfed. <laughs> puppy dream. This one's got a pretty face. He's so cute. I want to keep this one. I know. No. I know. He's cute. I do too, but we can't. Okay, so there yeah. they all are, guys. That one? Yep. <clears throat> Aria's wondering nothing. She's like, oh. She's like, oh, thank God. I guess I'm are you, you getting alone a break, time. girl? <laughs> Aria! Hi, pretty girl. Hi, Hi. Aria. Hi. Yeah. Where'd your puppies <laughs> She's go? so cute. Yes, she is. Go get your puppies. Go get your puppies. Where's your puppies? It's like, they're up there. I'm not stupid. Like, I'm not dumb. I've been watching y'all.
<laughs> yeah, she's had her eyes on yeah, her. Yeah, she has. Alright, so there they are, guys. <laughs> They're crawling all over each other. They're sleepy. Look at this one. <laughs> That's one of the twins. <laughs> Get your butt out of my face. There you go. <laughs> mm, so pretty. Are you? What do you think, girl? She's like, where are my puppies at? Where'd you put them? See how she looks really red? That's how most of these up here will look eventually. Yeah. This one's more like her color. This was more chocolate. But they'll darken to yeah. red. Yeah. So they'll be somewhat of a... So you can really tell that one looks a lot like Aria. You cleaning them? Like, <laughs> hey, that's mommy. And she has a really good bag of, of milk. Oh, she does yeah. a really good job. She's got plenty of milk. Cleaning them up. She just gets right to work. She's like, <laughs> she does. She She's a very right good mama. So funny. We're on the bar. Maybe we shouldn't do this at the bar. We're on our island. Let's. Well, that's okay. We got it covered. We do. All right, let's go put them up. We'll let you work over there, Aria. All right, Brax. Just cover them up and then no. put them like in a satchel on you. <laughs> like a, a satchel full of puppies. Yeah. Don't let the satchel fall anywhere. Got it? <laughs> I am not putting that <laughs> He's got a, a sack full of puppies. It was like Santa Claus. It's like, hurry up. So this is the welding box that Mike made. It has rails so the puppies don't get stuck up against Mama. Yeah, the, the puppies can actually go up under here, yeah. up under the rails. Yeah. And Aria can lean up against them without smothering them. Because that's one of the problems that dogs will have if you put them in a box. Is if the puppy's up against this side and Aria goes to lay on, lay next to that, she may smother them because there's nowhere for the puppy to go. So the puppy can actually get up under these rails and still breathe. We do also have a heater here and it's set at a certain temperature. So once it senses, and we also have a thermometer in here. This Braxton, is, what's it supposed to be in the whelping this, box for 85. the first week? 85. For the first week? Uh-huh. He says 85. I think that's like the first two or three days. Yeah, so the heater comes on periodically throughout the day. Plus, we have a heating pad over here. And most of the puppies go right over the heat. They like to stay on top of that heat. Aria's food's here. Water over here. She just got through eating, so we need to give her more food. And then we also have a camera right here. So we can watch the dogs anytime that we're gone. The eye moves down into the box. It's yeah. right now it's tracking me. Right now it's tracking us, but if we're not here, it'll track these dogs. So we can actually see inside the box and see what's going on. She's feeding them right now. And she's feeding four of them. She's got four separated. She's got this one, this one, the this twins one, and this and... one over here separated. Okay. Yeah, and then at night, we do like to keep Ari in the box. So, I never did. I never did put a latch on this door like I should have. I mean, you so, still can. So we just use a uh, clamp, clamp the door shut. It worked pretty good. Cause then you can also pull it halfway up so the puppies can stay in there, but she she can get out. Okay. Yeah. The whelping box okay. should. Okay, go ahead. The whelping box should have a consistent temperature around 85 degrees as puppies are not able to generate their own body heat until they are two and a half weeks of age. There you go. There you go. So with Aria in there, I just kind of go by what Aria is telling me. If she gets out, the whelping box is warm. If she stays in there, that means her body heat needs to add more heat to it. So sometimes I'll turn that heater on. So I just kind of let Aria tell me. Um, 
and they all got word that it was feeding time. I guess so, and they're all trying to eat. So she's like, y'all need to go away so I can take care of these dogs. Okay, say bye, Aria. All right, bud. Okay, y'all, that's just our uh, fourth litter with Aria and Bodie as a parent, so. Let us know what you think of the puppies. Leave us some comments. Um, if you're interested, uh, my email is in the description of the video. All my videos have the, in the description of my video, there's an email down there, so. Um, let us know. Um, we haven't decided on prices yet, but we are gonna go up a little bit, just simply because we've already called the vet and the vet has gone up as well, so. Dog food is And dog food's doubled, so <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. Um, so, and she's having to eat puppy food right now. Yeah. So. Aria does eat the puppy food, which is a little bit more expensive. So, uh, If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, make sure you hit the like button, leave us a comment, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Yeah. Bye, guys. Remember, do the good. Come on.